sync, clap. I don't, I don't think that was good enough. All right, so here's the situation. Um, what I'm recording now is actually supposed to be part three, but part two, Elgato decided to brick my footage and all the audio was janked. So I'm just going to quickly give you the abridged version. We set up our generator. We got plants. We set up the research station, which gave us planter boxes. Um, we've researched a few different things now, which is nice. We're almost done with this, so I'll get deodorizers. We've got lighting for our plants. The next thing will be plumbing. So that's where we're at now. We've set up a research station. We That was the main thing. We did a lot of research last episode, but other than that, it was kind of uneventful. I cleared out these areas. I got some ox ferns. There was a ton of carbon dioxide here. Now it's all just concentrated here, and the ox ferns are really tearing it up, which is awesome. <laughs> I've got an ox fern here, too. To work on all this and it's starting to work on it getting more oxygen in here than carbon dioxide this whole thing used to be filled to the brim with it so we're definitely making progress this is the which one's the oh oh it's the f keys okay okay cool uh we've got these all have meal wood we've got plenty of calories to last until this grows so we're good on the food situation we could probably sustain another colonist but i'm not gonna push it yet unless a really good one comes through so we're we're in a pretty good spot and that's not even counting all the hex leaves the hexalence that we haven't even touched so we're pretty good on the food situation what does this need um yeah, it needs water. That's what I was thinking. Okay, someone deliver water. Yes, you. Run. Good. Good on you. Thank you. Okay, now I can drop that back down because I need those at high priority. They probably don't need to be at nine. That's one issue I have is fertilization. Oh, it needs dirt. Yeah, I need to be better about <coughs> how I use the priority tool, because I kind of just go everything or nine, <laughs> which is not smart for obvious reasons. Because then they just get confused. Okay, what does this need? water yeah that'll be all right i'm more worried about this one i am actually gonna push that one up to a nine and hopefully that'll speed things up a bit we've got people who can do all that so unfortunately the last episode the footage did break but at the same time nothing super interesting happened um it was just another episode I think I found a way to avoid Elgato doing that more frequently, so instead of recording 30-minute chunks, I'm going to record two 40-minute chunks, uh, which is a little bit more work on my end. By a little bit more work, I mean, like, two extra minutes in between. Ooh, we have research done. Yes. Yes. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Remind me to never do that again. Okay. Um, we got a mechanized airlock now, which is nice. What's the difference? Blocks, liquid, and glass, maintaining pressure. But what's, what's the benefit to having one that consumes power? Like, the only difference here is that it says it functions manual when no power is available. So, it's just an airlock that steals power? I don't know. Probably won't use it. Let's see. We got the deodorizer. That's going to be important for these areas with all this polluted oxygen. Although I've also found another solution there, uh, how to do a water lock. Um, and a lot of you probably know what that is, but for those of you who don't, it's a way of exploiting the water physics to where gas can't get through, and it's fantastic. Um, I had a plan. I had a plan, and I forgot the plan. 
Ooh, we need to find something here. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. We don't have any more mealwood seeds. Huh. Carbon dioxide. Let's see if we can't get another... Um, planner box right here and then we'll dig up this ox fern I do actually need that done kind of quickly <laughs> along with this because these two are working on carbon dioxide here. If I can get this one, this whole area will get torn up. And this is going to give us access to this watcher, which is fantastic. We've got some good resources around here. What the hell are you guys doing? Still, I love how there's just a random table with a bowl of fruit just in the middle of nowhere. I'm so confused. Wish there was a better way to get to LG, but unfortunately... This is just how it be. I still need to figure out a better cot situation. That I realize. Um, I think I'm going to try and move this water to here. If I can get all this water right down here. Um, and then I'll put the cots in here somewhere. That I feel like that would be a good spot. Get this water down here. These down here. That one can stay. It'll get drained soon. That's my current supply. Um, that's a pretty small one. I don't have to worry about that. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll move the cots here eventually. There's open space there. That would be kind of nice for it. Um, this is the issue I have with this game is there's not really a whole lot of stuff to talk about. I mean, it's a fun game, but... Kind of gets boring on the commentary side every now and then, so I hope you'll excuse that. If any of you do have suggestions for games, of course, I would love to hear them down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, let me know how your day was. Mine's pretty good, I actually just got up a little bit ago. I uh, have to work, but I have like an hour until I have to go in. And I'm only recording for like 20 minutes, so I've got plenty of time. <coughs> I figure I'll get this recording in. It's Thursday now, and I'll edit it when I get back, and it'll probably be up for all of you lovely people tomorrow on Friday. So if you're watching this Friday, tomorrow the 20th, then hey, I'm actually on time for once. Uh yeah, let me know how your day was. Mine's pretty good so far. Oh, look at them all just sleeping. Not getting work done. Pathetic. <laughs> uh, why are you still asleep? What are you doing? There we go. Working on that soon, that research will be done, which is fantastic. We'll be able to start moving water around easily. Because what I tend to... Oh, no, I just realized there's salt water in here. That could be a problem. What I tend to do is... What's a water weed? Thrive in salty water can be harvested for lettuce. Hmm. Nice, actually. Cool. Uh, okay. It's just, are you... What's wrong with you? Food... Oh, food poisoning. Okay. <coughs> okay, he's working on the planter box. Good. My next research needs to be medicine. I think I'm just going to do the entire thing. Just the entire tree. 
I know I probably don't have some of the other things I need from other trees, because some of them obviously kind of go together, but fuck it. I don't really have anything else that is as desperately needed to be focused on. I just realized I haven't, um, I still need the, the Oxford seed. Guys, this, please, dig it. I need that Oxford seed. Someone get that, so then we can plant it here. Hey, there you go. Good job. Thank you very much. Now we have proper bathrooms and sinks. Oh, wait, there's something else I need. There was another... Yeah, up here. The insulated tile and the fans. So, this first. And then maybe the rest of these? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We will figure that out. But for right now, I need, need someone to dig up this ox fern so I can plant it here. That would be fantastic. <coughs> I like that ox ferns are movable. I think that's fantastic. I understand why the hexalents aren't um, replantable and everything, because that would just be overpowered beyond belief, because these give so much food and there's so many of them already. I probably could have made it this far without getting any food, just working on the hexalents alone. Um, without even worrying about all this. So that's, that's kind of awesome. I really need... What's this waiting on? Dirt and water. That needs to be taken care of, because you guys, the carbon dioxide in here situation is not getting any better. And y'all's lungs are getting torn up. Hey, hey. Let's see what we got. A snazzy suit, a decorator, a farmer, and fungal spores. Huh. What's a fungal spore? Okay, allergic to floral scent and loud sleeper are probably both terrible. Well, I know allergic to floral scent is, but loud sleeper I could just see waking everyone up and having to be in their own separate cot and just pain in the ass. Um, snazzy suit isn't super... I mean, I'm sure it's useful at some point, but... I feel like the fungal spore can be useful. Um, yeah, we'll find out. We shall see. Hopefully it doesn't just start emitting death. Just emitting pure death. Not even just like polluted oxygen or anything. Just death. Just kills everyone who goes near it. That would suck, but I could see that happening. <laughs> Definitely something within the realm of possibility. Alright, they've got downtime and then they'll go to sleep soon. God, we gotta work on this. Yeah, managing this needs to be... Please empty that in time before anyone starts pissing everywhere. Can they? No, they can get to this. Although I do need to build a ladder here. So they can get down from there, that would be nice. But they can get to this Oxford. So I don't know why it's been so difficult to get this to happen. There we go. We're working on it. Good job, guys. And he's taking there. Yeah, there you go. You're doing it. You're doing it. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, you 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 plunge that toilet while you struggle to breathe. <laughs> Guys, please. Yeah, take take shifts, take turns. 
You got this. Just, just don't take a shit, please. Don't. That would make this so much worse. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. You got this. I believe in you. No. Oh, that's what I was trying to avoid. Oh, I was trying to avoid that. God damn it. Please. Just, 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 just clean all this up, please. Uh, guys. <laughs> it takes so long for them to do that, though. Which is always frustrating. Always takes an eternity and a half for any of that to get done. I should connect these. There we go. Ooh, more research has been done. Soon that'll be finished. Let's see what's here. Cools the gas, outputs heat in its vicinity. So, okay, that's actually... Hmm. Okay. Carries gas, allowing extreme temperature change with the surrounding environment. So I guess you put this somewhere that you don't mind it being hot and you pump cold air into somewhere that you need it to be cold. Okay. But I feel like that just like, okay. So what I'm thinking, especially with the insulated tile is I need somewhere to put my generator in where all the batteries will be somewhere where it'll be cooled off to some degree. Which should be fine with just a few of these icy fans and insulated tile. Should be okay. Uh, the issue is, if it's not enough, what would this solve? Like, yeah, I could pump cool air in there, which would cool off my battery area so that it doesn't overheat everything. But then I've got this thing generating a bunch of heat off wherever, and now it's getting too hot and bringing heat everywhere. So what exactly does this accomplish? I mean, does it generate... So, like, it generates some heat, but it's enough to be managed by other stuff? Because in that case, that would be great. That would be fine, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how all this works. And I need to learn to experiment. Okay, so we're going to have them finish that. Please, guys, for the love of God, for all that is that is good in the world... Fix your fucking ox, ox ferns. I'm, I'm not putting them on any more research tasks until the rest of this clean gets cleaned up. Because I, I just realized that's another problem. I've been working on essentially a two-man crew this entire time. Because it's been... Ooh, hey, we have mealwood now. I need to set up a... Where's it at? Where's it at? Food. I need a ration box over here. I don't know if there's even a point in putting yellow alert on this, because yellow alert seems to mean nothing to them, but we're going to try. Hey, there we go. The ingenious rock was delivered. There we go. I still need this dog. I, I don't understand why it's so hard. They can get to this, right? Come down from there, step onto there, which I've seen them do a million times, and just walk over here. I know they can do it. I know it's possible. I'm just going to have them dig this one. No. Oh, whatever. This carbon dioxide's slowly getting used. It's it's fine. I'm just getting tired of hearing that red alert sound. That got taken care of so I can drop it to normal. 
what else do I have on? Oh yeah, I have this here, but they're not doing anything with it. So, I mean, hey, if you all just want to die from carbon dioxide, wait, we don't have, I'm stupid. The problem is that we didn't have the dirt to use. Okay. Um, time to dig more dirt then. I figured we would have enough dirt for a while, considering how much stuff we've been digging up lately. I can't count. All right. There we go. So that'll be what we have them do next. We're going to have them dig up all this. This is our next P9 set of tasks, is excavating this area. There we go. That was the issue. I just wasn't paying any damn attention. Oh yeah, what's the fungal still spore? Edible mushrooms. Hmm. Carbon dioxide. Oh, it needs slime. That's a way to get rid of slime, though. So, <laughs> that's actually pretty fantastic. It takes slime, which is usually a hazardous material that releases polluted air when you destroy it, when you break it, or mine it, and you can feed it to these spores. You can put it in a carbon dioxide area. That's actually pretty good and it gives a decent number of calories per unit i think i don't know what's that compared to one of these for example oh that's a lot more per unit hmm okay that's pretty fantastic actually i'll have to seriously consider doing that and they're trapped here there we go not my smartest move trapping them like that, but hey, I never claim to be smart. Hey, it's erupting again. Hey, we can actually see into here again. So the steam here seems to be yeah, water that's been heated to a scalding gas. So as it cools down, it becomes water again. So what I'm hearing here is that this is an infinite water source, essentially. Sounds good to me.